Code signal, RK, circle of numbers. Hello internet, my name is Joshua and I'll be trying to solve the circle of numbers code signal problem. Let's get right to it. Consider integer numbers from zero to n minus one written down along the circle in a way that the distance between any two neighboring numbers is equal that, for example, that zero and n minus one are neighboring two. Um, given n and first number, find the number which is radially opposite position to first number. Okay, so we're given an example. Um, we have up to 10 numbers. So it starts from 0 to 0 to technically n minus 1. Um, you can see they are adjacent to each other. And the number that we want to find across is 2. And what is across of 2 is 7, if you look at this visually. Hmm, and is there another example? Um, well, there's constraints. We know there should be at least four numbers, so we don't have to worry about, oh, it's a positive e even integer, so we don't have to worry about if it's an odd number, there'll be two numbers across it. We don't have to worry about those scenarios, and we know there's more than four numbers, which makes it easier. And we know that the first number is definitely gonna be inside the range of numbers, from zero to n minus one. So let's just write this down. Okay, so we know the numbers will be between 0 to n minus 1. And not only numbers, um, eight numbers in a circle, and the first number. Now, let's see, how would I solve this one? I would need to see this um, both visually and also I want to type this out too. So what would be across zero is five. What would be across four is nine. So we have those edge cases right there. Hmm, interesting. And if it's one, it's gonna be six. Two, it's gonna be seven. So my first instinct, um, we might have to use something called a modulus. Now, the reason why I thought of modulus is that it allows leftovers and it ensures that the number, um, whatever I calculate within an expression, make that expression's value, modulus that, which modulus is going to be with the range from 0 to n minus 1. Second thing I want to consider, since the number is always opposite of what the number first number will be, I'm thinking that we should be a first number plus half of what n is. And that will be uh, modulus of n. So here I'm going to go and show you what I'm talking about so it's easier to understand. So I'll be first number plus n divided by 2. And not only just n divided by 2, now I'm going to put a modulus of n. Because the first number could be 9. And 9 plus, which is n over 2, uh, that'll be an index greater than n would be n or greater. So in that case, we have to ensure that is within the parameters right here. And now if we do that, so we know that it's going to be halfway across of whatever the number it is, regardless of its position. And the modulus n ensures that it's going to be within um, the circle of values. Now, the first thing that comes to my head is that um, since it starts from 0, Instead of um, 1, this could affect the calculations. So I'm considering if I should subtract this by 1 or not. Uh, let me think about this. So let's just, before I even click the run test, it's bad um, habits to do that. So let me just input some random numbers right here. Let's just manually input this one. So let's just say n equals 10 and then in the first number is going to equal hmm let's just say it's going to equal zero so if first number is zero plus five is five and five modulus ten is five okay that works now let's just say it's going to be one so one module one plus 5 is 6, 6 modulus 10 is 6, 
still works. I wonder if we put 9. 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 modulus 10 is 4. Wait, am I doing this right? I think I am. 9 plus. Oh, 9 plus. Yeah. So let's just try running this. Maybe this might work. We'll see what happens. Oh, it worked. Okay, so this calculate this whole equation seems to be working. And that's how you solve circle of numbers. Now, I hope this explanation makes sense. Um, again, I'll repeat this. This module n ensures that whatever expression we calculate, it's going to be of a number within the range from 0 to n minus 1. Um, and also the first number it's we since the number is going to be across it that's why I put n divided by 2 because it's going to be five half of all the positions of the numbers divided by 2 um, and then it's going to shift into that value um, and we know for sure I should probably should have explicitly mentioned this that um, each number is pat um, the neighbor of each number's value is just n minus 1 to n plus 1 so its neighbors are exactly one integer value of a difference of each other. And I think it works. I um, hope you like this, this explanation. If this is unclear, please let me know. I would ex explain it in a more cleaner fashion. And um, yeah, take care, guys. See ya.